the invisible man by h g wells and today we are going to do chapter number 16 in the jolly cricketers this is another name and a very nice name if you ask me jolly cricketers is actually an inn a tavern bar just like the coach and horses inn which we had seen in iping and the character list of chapter number 16 mr marvel the invisible man and there are certain people who are there at the bar and let us see what happens here a lot of things happen at different inns we have seen so much activity at the coach and horses inn and now in chapter number 6 we have the jolly cricketers it is an inn at the town of burdock so in the last chapter we had seen uh, mr marvel who is of course a stranger to this town of burdock he enters this town and he is seen by people to be running desperately for life as if he was trying to save himself from some danger and what danger was it it was the invisible man who was following him and most probably uh, the invisible man was trying to catch hold of him so in the last chapter the reader understands that mr marvel must have tried to escape from the clutches of the invisible man and that is why when he enters the inn named the jolly cricketers he starts shouting for help he actually shouts at the top of his voice he wants to be saved from the invisible man so he actually shouts that save me help me because the invisible man is following me he is just outside so he shouts for help and people at the bar there are a few people who are at the bar uh, the author would tell you that there is the barman and there are a few clients there is a taxi driver there is an american you don't need to know all those details there are a few people at the bar just remember that who immediately react to his shouts for help if you would suddenly come across a person who says please save me an invisible man is following me you would probably laugh at him but these people don't laugh just notice the detail the author just says that as soon as he enters the bar and he starts shouting the people immediately react to help him they shut all the doors and windows and the barman opens the door of his bar to let marvel hide under it so he he allows marvel to enter his bar and hide maybe under the counter uh, just in order to help him because these people are ready these people have people have already heard the name of the invisible man and they are ready to help this person from the invisible man and what does griffin do griffin is outside rapping at the door because he wants the door to be open and then 
breaking the window panes of the inn and this is what he loves to do to to create a, a sense of destruction around him and he loves to break windows and this is what he does he 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 raps he tries all the doors all the windows he breaks a few windows and he finds a side door open and enters through it and what does he do he enters and the people of course they cannot see him but the people see marvel being dragged out and taken into the kitchen so he is dragged up till the door of the kitchen and kicked and beaten up he is beaten up badly and the invisible man you know he is ready ready to kill him actually and marvel if you remember marvel has his money in his pockets and is clutching his books so it is not that marvel has just thrown away the books and run no he has all the money in his pockets and he is also clutching the books this point is worth remembering i would really like you to remember this that even here even at the jolly cricketers in marvel still has his money and he still has his books because this point is going to be very valid when we come to the end of the novel so he is being beaten up